Welcome guys to another video on AK Goddess of Victory. Now I wanted to make this video to help out newer players because um, I'm guessing a lot of newer players joined the game during the first year anniversary so they might not be aware of some of the stuff that we casual or we veterans already know of. So I wanted to make this video going over a couple of characters that I think are very very important that they must go ahead and get. Now this does not include limited characters or program characters they are excluded from this video but there is a couple of standard banner characters that I think they need to prioritize getting and those are characters you can actually include in their wish list. Now as a newer player you're going to be trying to get 5 MLB characters so max demi broken characters so that you can break that 160 wall. Um, so with that as you're summoning for as you guys summon for Red Hood I'm hoping actually if you are a newer player that's when you were summoning for Red Hood, you went ahead and summoned multiple times as well. Not only just to get Red Hood, but to get um, good ban um, good characters as well. Probably was like a good banner for you guys to go ahead and summon on. Um, and obviously, if you guys were summoning as well, I'm hoping you did not use your regular gems on a standard banner. Now, it is important that you go ahead and do wish list for your, um, you know, they have the right characters for your wish list as well, which I will go over in today's video. Now, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more content on AK Goddess of Victory. Um, I would like to welcome any newer player into the community as well. Hopefully you guys enjoy Nikkei and we all know why we are here to, uh, playing Nikkei and it's obviously for this main reason you see this character up in front. We want to see those uh, beautiful characters. Yeah and we also want to play some really good game and Nikkei is that um anyways first of all there is a couple of standard banner characters that are important but i think the best way i can actually represent that is to go over to this wish list so as you're trying to break the 160 wall your wish list is probably going to be the most important place uh, for you and obviously when red hood was in the banner uh you were trying to summon for her as well hopefully you guys also pulled some pilgrim units as well like i said i'm not going to include them but literally they they help you guys out as well and i'm hoping you guys re-rolled as well but you might not have wanted to go through that whole um, whole hectic um you know playthrough uh, just to you know get a good account but i'm hoping you guys um had a good have a good account sorry um hopefully you guys got lucky because when i played i got extremely lucky and i was able to break that 160 wall kind of fast honestly um anyways so standard banner going over to this over here with the elysian i made a separate video talking about why i believe the elysian are just like under like the really bad um but as your newer player i'm just gonna go ahead and talk about a couple of characters you want to include over here um first of all include privity now privity i do believe you do get as a free, uh, as a new player as well she is a free unit technically so and she's also very very good so getting extra copies for her will not hurt you at all so i definitely would recommend you guys include her in your wish list um you don't have to include mass in your wish list if you do have scarlet if you got lucky whilst you're summoning for like the red hood and you're a newer player and you got scarlet f you first of all I'm joking 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 uh, but if you do have scarlet then i do think mast is a good character for scarlet is she um actually yeah because i think she increases let me quickly check actually because i don't use mast that often actually let me see um activates when entering battle highest attack crit rate not really matter uh defense uh attacks the target yeah this is good actually continues okay and then the last one with the highest attack hp increase with, without restoring hp last one yeah this is actually good for yeah it's good for scarlet actually so yeah you can also include her in as well in the um standard banner as well so we're gonna include mass and then you also have marciana as well pretty decent as well we're gonna take her off you we're gonna take her off as well um, you can include Helm as well because she's a burst free that heals. Uh, healing is actually good early on as well as you guys are trying to progress um, in the game. But like I said, if you have Red Hood, you're definitely going to include Red Hood in your team already with uh, maybe another burst free character as well, maybe two other ones as well. Helm might not be important to you guys though, but um, if you do want some good burst free healer, then you do have Helm, but I would not recommend actually doing that. Anyways, you have Polly, good burst two character. The only issue is that the um, cooldown for her burst skill is 40 seconds, which uh you might need to run two you will need to run two best two characters in that team then so probably still good though for pvp especially as well but um oh yeah also include diesel though because you do get a free copy of her and as you're trying to break that 160 wall 
Diesel is going to help you guys uh, because you already have one copy, you might get an extra copy of her from the wish list as well. So, overall, that is actually pretty good. Now, like I said, Elysian, you don't really want to get them as you're summoning in here. They're pretty good characters, though, and they are two characters that will help you break the 160 wall if you do get those copies of them. But in general, you don't really want them. Now, when it comes to the miss list, there is three important characters you must have in your wish list, and honestly, these are the most important units in the game, literally. Um, actually, maybe four characters as well. So if you're starting off the game, your wish list should look like this. Now I'm gonna do this. Lita, very very good burst one, very very important. She's been there since day one. She can't be overthrown. Now Naga and Tia, two of the most important supportive units in the game. And if you're building a team, usually just having them as your in your team is really really good. Funny enough, Litter also is important with Naga. You put Naga first, then Litter. Um, oh no, sorry, Tia first, then Litter, then uh, Naga. Um, because Lit, um, sorry, because Tia Naga. Yeah, because Tia has the ability to recast the burst skill, so you're gonna need two burst ones. So that's why it is uh, Litter that would be pretty good in that team. And Naga as well. Naga and Tia work very very well together. And they are basically like dual units that you want to have in the same team, basically. So you have that. And then um, there is also one other character that you can include as well. The Senti is very, very strong. But like I said, Naga is definitely a better Senti. Um, but like I said, Senti is also a good burst, uh, burst 2 character. 22nd as well. And then for that last one, you can include Maxwell because you already have Red Hood. Hopefully, you can include Drake as well. Overall, good support DPS. Um, you can add Laplace as well. Um, you can add Jackal if you want some PvP team. You can also add. No, I wouldn't even say Pepper actually. Out of all the ones I mentioned, Pepper is definitely not your main important one. So yeah, so you can just do this literally, and you guys are good. Now, even if you have Litter, try and get copies. Even if you have Naga and Tia, try and get copies of them. You're good. Um, and then over to the Tetra line. Um, also, very, very important characters are here as well. Hopefully, I didn't change this. No, I didn't. Good. So, Tetra line, there are two. Is it two? Two, two, two. Yeah, there's two particularly important characters in here. And honestly, they are basically the characters you require, especially if you're beginning at the game, uh, starting at the game, because you need them for interception. They make interception bosses pretty easy and chill, especially if you have Red Hood as well, then you guys are good. So the two important ones, in my opinion, are gonna be Blanc and Noir. So Noir and Blanc. So for, if you guys are a new player and you don't know, these are essentially dual units that needs to work together. Um, they need both of each other to be a good unit or good fit. Uh, so Blanc and Noir, two important characters. If you have Blanc, you have to have Noir. If you're going to be using them in a the team, they have to be together. And honestly, like I said, clearing interception bosses will be super, super easy with those characters plus Red Hood as well. So you got this. And then you can also include um, Dollar as well as a good burst to buffer. You can also include Alice overall, but Alice is a character that scales higher the more investment you put into her. So early on, she might not perform, she won't perform that good. So um, in general, you can add Rupee as well as your burst to. Uh, you can add Biscuits as well, but not really. Actually, not really. Actually, there's not really that most important characters in here. You know what? Yeah, I think you can just add biscuits as well. Out of all the ones there, I think biscuit would be the most beneficial one. Um, oh, noise could also be important as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is it as well. But in general, there are five particular characters that I want to say are super, super important to beginners because it will help you guys clear content so much faster even if you have a cp de deficit cp is like your power scaling basically and as long as you have the right amount of power you should be able to clear content um easily but as you're complaining i'm um, completing co um, campaign and you're trying to progress first further you don't have the right cp um over here like this the recommended one is here and this is mine having naga actually the first we talk about it. having blanc and noir plus litter is easy 
easy and done and obviously like i said you have red hood as well so slot that in and now for your other bus free you want to you put literally anyone would do as long as they're just supportive dps's so this will do fantastically fine as well um save this formation no and then a second one you can also do is this one over here now if you don't have Madonna, i absolutely would say she is definitely a like a broken pilgrim character as well and i'm hoping that whilst you were summoning for red hoods the rng blessed you but if they don't it is cool hopefully in the future you get her but um yeah pretty good best free character as well so just just if you don't have her with naga and tia then you could just also add drake in here instead um privity as well is pretty decent actually not really because she reduces ammo count you don't really want that um as you've noticed i don't really include uh uh ch ch oh yeah innocent days because he was a free character given to you guys as well able to max her out um well mlb her as well actually yeah since you guys started the game during the anniversary as well you should have gotten her as well so you now only need four characters to um break the uh 160 yeah to break the 160 wall as well so like i said joining during the anniversary is probably a blessing to you guys because you got that character there um i do think nikkei is a game that rewards you the more you play so if you guys are thinking oh this game is very hard right now and whatnot as long as you keep playing you get rewarded so nikkei has pretty much rewarded players that have played since day one for a very long time we've been blessed because it's going to be hard for newer players to catch up to like older players in terms of the power we have and whatnot but um as you just keep sticking with the game you should be good so yeah that is it regarding the characters you're trying to focus on um naga tia blanc noir and then litter those are the five main important standard banner characters you want to be going ahead and getting and uh they don't have to be your first like they don't have to be the characters you mlb uh, um your main mlb character just having them is literally what's gonna help your account you don't really need dupes for any other reasons besides breaking that 160 wall now i should have more guides as well for beginner players as well um but hopefully you guys like this video stay tuned for more content on nikkei goddess of victory it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out